is fortune hunter today uh, when we when we last left our heroes i did a couple of things i did some refactoring off off stream And this is where we're at. We have a maze. We can explore the maze. Go around all the spots. We can go into the walls. And of course, you know, that's that's cool and all. But uh There's a couple of things I want to do that you don't see the whole thing. Because seeing the whole thing, well, you're not hunting for anything now, are you? So then, let's go. I believe I refactored to a large extent. Um, that my hunter is here on my game data. And I think I think though that I need I have a I need a destructor on my game base. Here's so here's here's the truth. That kind of is loose end. We go if hunter. And if hunter get room cell. Hunter get room cell. Hunger hunter. Get room cell set creature null. Pointer. I'm gonna free the hunter. Not free. Dell. We Dell. That's what we do. Leave the hunter. When the room deconstruct, then after this, the room will deconstruct, and all of the other creatures will be gone. Uh, but also, so also one of the things when I when I clear the room, I also, I also have a clear hunter, clear room, clear hunter, Lord. clear hunter. So that's really going to clear hunter function. Game data clear hunter. The thing I want to do. I'm going to cut past you there. And actually set hunter equals null pointer at that time. So here we're going to clear hunter. And we'll clear the when we clear the room. Do this. We also want to clear the hunter. And now I think. There's not a, I don't think there's a situation now. <clears throat> Where I could still have a hunter pointing to something in a room that doesn't exist anymore. I think I've been careful about that. <sighs> Keep hunter. 
after um, Elite D. Alright, so that's good. So now on the room cell, on the room cell, I should have a status. One called explored. Another one called lit. And we start out with both of these things. Neither explored nor lit. I'm going to need some things like is lit, is explored, and so on. It counts bool is explored, counts uh, void, light, void, explore. You know what? We only ever need to set them. They set lit. Bool. I'll say set explored as well. Set explored. We'll have e oldie getters and getters. Right, return lit. Lit, return lit. Is explored, return explored. Set lit. Well, lit equal value. Click state. State's good. State's really great. State. State. And explored. Equals state. So then, now one of the things I'm very, very careful to do in room cell and room and creature, I'm trying to keep these things as agnostic as I can. But what that all means, we get this creature type. So at some point, creature has to become a templated type of creature type. And I'm not sure yet exactly. So right now, creature type is enough. Do we do it now? I think we did. Oh. Mm. 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 Add, add lit and explored to to room cell. So now. A template. Type name, creature data, or T, T creature data. Seems like it seems like a fine, a fine. <clears throat> so, you are just called creature data. 
Nothing yet. T creature data. Dead creature data. So oh, at the moment, great. All right, so we have. Oh, I gotta put all this stuff in here. Mm, okay. Your .cvp is not going to be a thing. Oh, time to fix it. All right. Your .cvp ain't a thing. Cell, no PTR, creature data, creature data, creature data. There we go. Takes care of that one. Just returns room cell. Same thing for you. And you just return creature data. And creature data. There we have it. So there that is. So now it is a templated type, and now lots of stuff is broke. Now room cell doesn't know how to be a room cell. Room cell has no idea. What? What's a room cell? So now this has to be templated. Now it's creature, T creature data. Look for creature. And that one has to be that, that, means that all of the stuff goes into room cell dot cpp. It was all very simple anyway, mostly. X. Away. Delete it. Common row. Common and a row. What do we have? We have two. Looks like there's going to be more to it today. Seems like that one. Good thing. Let's do the getters and the setters other than set creature because that one's a little bit different. Oh, we'll get to, and we get some things. Room cells a little bit more to it. If there's a creature, yeah, well, that stuff. Getters and setters over here. Really on the set creature. New terrain. Setters, okay. So, set creature is when 
Well, it's four o'clock. Time to get up. It's time to get up. And the rest of these are like getters, right? So, return bring. In feature, we're just gonna return feature. Tell them we just return tell them. Tell them. Turn row. Turn lit. Explored lit equals state explored equals state 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 everything is now copacetic in room cell now room What are you doing? Okay, so room. But, but I, but I did. What? Last template has already been declared as a non template. Yes? Oh, 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 oh. Yes. Room cell. Oh, this is fun. Room cell. Oh, this will be interesting. About to get all mucked up. So that should shut that part up. No, but all friend class. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Okay, so now we're back on to game data. Excellent. The creature, for at the moment, creature type. At the moment, that's okay. In game data. Some stuff going on here. Okay. That one will find be fine. And now Again, get this treatment. <clears throat> you template argument. It's true. It's true. <sighs> so now, template type name. Creature data. Things have to have a T creature data on them. T creature data. And 
that and that. Oof. <clears throat> now this is a template, so now this all has to move here. Take that out. That down here. Right, that. Okay, creature. Not need creature type. Has no need of creature type. Only if that gets injected in later. So then. <clears throat> All right. All of those things are columns. Those. Take you and to put you there. Turn Mr. Destructor. Take you. To there. And I think I'm going to make this a bit safer. SD column row column row if column less than columns and row less than rows, then, only then, do we return that stuff. And it is exactly the same thing, just like so. And these two are just simple getters. Perfect. Perfect wonder bar, yay. All right. Let's see if she builds now. <clears throat> she may not, because we need to template some other things. Type. We do need creature type here. Lit. Still lit. Can't can't type the word lit. We room. Include room room get room basic types. Well, that's not really true. Cell T creature data. Type. Right, next. Oh no no! Actually, we 
want that. We want that. That is correct. <clears throat> Get in there. So now we're in in play render. At this point, we're going to have feature type. Getting closer. I can feel it. Not all control path. Otherwise, we're going to return to return null pointer. Okay. <clears throat> she builds. Does she run? Okay, there we are. Yep. Now we have creature type. That's what's in there. Okay. Great. Feature type has been generic. Now also need this now goes in game rather than creature type. Which means there should only be one place where that has to come in, and that's on game data. Right. Because <clears throat> the creature type is very specific to this game. So build and work. Blah. Okay. I don't think ring to ring kind of independent, but rather useful. <clears throat> One of the next bits is to remove the dependence. I gotta get that. Time to get that. Uh, bouncy ball chair for a bit. But hard kitchen chair is hard. <sighs> <Oof. laughs> Alright. And old fat body is old and fat. What? <clears throat> oh, this much nicer. Oh, look at that. Feel that. That's nice. We switch. We switch off back and forth until we're done. So now, <clears throat> so we're gonna do this. We're gonna get rid of terrain. Have another type name, type name, terrain, and type name that. Uh, 
advanced T terrain. It's terrain. <clears throat> Whole word match case. Oh, so to do it. Do this over the creature because there's a forward declaration here. That's that I think that makes all of that compiled correctly. Makes this okay. F terrain. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Reckon I don't have a That's in terrain, I guess. Are called T terrain. All kinds of weird junk, mostly to do. Mm, still T train. I do have to have a T train. That should be a const T train. This happened. A const train. Blah. Do that. Same thing here. Const T train. Blah. We should also have a constant terrain net, I think. Yes, sir. So I think it's going to copy it, but frankly. <clears throat> Some other things that have to get changed as a result. See else is still broken though. Arguments for room and game data. I need to do game. Oh, oh. Data game data. And bring this in here. Including there you go. That thing and that thing and look at all the look at all the types. Having a hard time. Shouldn't be having that hard of a time. Most other things are not compiling yet. How many type template arguments? Certainly not. Definitely also to have type name. Can you try it? 
even though it has nothing to do with anything. Doesn't care one bit about your teetery. Requires a template list. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Mm. Okay, and creature, the eight. Oops, got a T terrain here. Yes, yes. Few of these. So oh, now you are a T terrain. Ooh, her in room cell says so is T train and T train. What? Uh, what? Okay, shift T train. What? No, stop it! Stop it! We get their feature too few template arguments. Of course it is. Now we got teacher. Get that on the clipboard. Your problem. Ah, terrain. Uh, this has to be a T terrain const T terrain. Uh, Terrain. Indeed, none of these. Uh, I'll call you terrain floor. Get there up oh, terrain. I love templates. Terrain. terrain. So we're doing that. This is a terrain feature type. Where's that? Right. Down to six errors. Play render terrain. I assure you, we will get through this. And we did. What? Does it run, though? It appears to run. Look at that. Okay, we have now completely divorced room, creature, room cell from creature type and brain. Now divorced brain from other room types. So now, nice thing. Room, room cell creature can all be used elsewhere if I want to. I want to write the 
that's great. But now I want to um I want to do is update, update lights and exploration. The thing I want to do, I want to update the room. Get hunter. Uh, when I move, and this has to be outside. So update. I'll just go. Boy, update room. That's what I need. It's pretty generic. Update the room. Update the room. So <clears throat> if Hunter. Okay, and if Hunter, I'll do both. Get room cell. Okay. Okay, I'm going to get. <clears throat> and map nope, size T. Yeah, and size T. Both Hunter, get room cell. Column. Size T? It's a size T, right? Or size T. Excellent. Size T row equals hunter. And cell. Get row. <clears throat> or do I want to int it? I do want. And it may wish me to cast. I will cast anyway. Or int call equals column plus one call plus dinner equal to column plus one plus plus call. First clear all the lights, I think. When I update, when I do this, okay. Or int column is zero. So this can be size T. So column. Eight columns, just column, D row equals zero, <clears throat> row less than rooms, room dot, <clears throat> get rows, plus plus row, room, get cell, column, row, get lit, so, unlight the whole room. <clears throat> so I get my room cell. Ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. <clears throat> Four. Get row. Call you C. Can we call you C. We'll call you C. Because who doesn't love single letter variable names? R equals row plus one. R less than row less than or equal to row plus one plus, plus R. Love it. 
if greater than or equal to zero and r greater than or equal to zero and um let's see less than room get columns just do this so I can just go room cell auto. Equals uh, room get cell C R. You have a auto cell. If so, then the true cell set explored true. So, <clears throat> this whole thing when we update our room is we light, we clear all of our lights, then we light around the hunter and we explore. That's what we do. <clears throat> in the renderer in the minute we're going to have it uh, a bit differently although what I want to do here is I want to add style So how might I like this? 4.30 and it's time to stream. Uh, 16 by 16, I am 16 16. I think, I think I do want, I think I want a dither. I want dithering. Yes. I totally, totally want to go for a dithered look here. Beautiful. Beautiful. Save that. So that's at 1632 40, so 64. Alright. Suppose I'll put the other sprites in there while I'm at it. Big sprites. Hunter creature. Call you key item. And in. And I think our south door. Store two. The east west door. And you are called Dither. Well, that's much better. I like that. <clears throat> so when I render.
Can I render my gameplay render? So it's not just not as simple as this. I think I need here. So if cell is explored. At the very least, now I can own. So when I create, create when the game data, when I read the art, blah, blah, blah. Right room, and then we're going to update room. Is there a move hunter? Is there a move? Is there? Command processor, in play, command processor. That you guys know. Hunter. So that's what the move. Hunter does this. Game data. So now, actually, I should only see the things that I've explored at this point. I want to do is I want to put a very, very light dark gray. So like a 32, 32. Fill that on my ear just so that there is a difference between I don't even know and I haven't explored it and I have explored it, so I have a, so I have a slight difference. So here we are. Is. I do like it, gives you subtle hints on the, the other sides. All right, now one last thing. So my in-play renderer, or if not, so if not cell is lit, then put dithering. Yes. Yeah. yeah all right. Here, I give the player a break. I make a couple of secret passes. Okay. 
backtrack. They throw up a bone, don't you? We do. This is all right. We're, we're getting there. All right. Now. All right. Now have a couple of things here. Sorry, right, we can now board and lit portions of room are now displayed correctly. That's cool. But now What shall we do about other creatures and items? So now we need to populate this. Also at the same time, let's take a look. Um, in fans, what's in my to do? What is in new? I don't have any of those yet. Um, go game plan treasures, treasures, traps, secret doors, monsters. Armor, potions, and whatever else. Okay. Treasures being um, Basically, became Mazic or locks, keys, locks and keys. Gotta have locks and keys. The exit. Oh, right on. Okay. I have to take a brief break and I shall be right back. Stop. 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 Stop.
chair for a little while today gotta end the stream at 5 30 but so I've got some got some thinking to do one thing uh, I got the images so I've already got the images for Locks for a key for keys and locks. So room generation. What else I need? starting point okay hmm. 
Mm, not yet. Not yet. Okay. So. Concept. Concept in the game called an item. Item. Oof. Yeah, no, that doesn't work at all. Item. Item. I just have so game and room. Room cell. I'm going to have one e terrain. And the T item. This also has like takes so this has so this has a creature. Go. Let's go from the top down here. So we're gonna have T item. T E type name. T item. Because we want to have item types. Let's have a let's have an item type. Let's also rename you. Actually before we even do that, before we even get our item type into the room. Let's let's rename terrain to terrain type. There is no thing called terrain. No, that's right. Or terrain type. We use Visual Studio to actually re the actual type. Rename you to terrain type. Things and apply them. Right on, terrain type that. We'll start to add these up. Door NS. Door request. That's all we need. Right. You know what? They're not terrain. So, that's another thing. Okay, we need item type now. So, Alright, we, can we... Can we run? Can we build? Do we run? Things working. Um, moving over here. Go. Oh. All right. Good for me. All right, now I need in my room. I need type name. T item. What's going? On? I have no idea. What's a what's a that? What's a T item? Oh, I need item type. Item header file. Enum class item type and the only thing I'm currently aware of is gonna be a uh, key. All right, all right. 
Now do I want... Do I want to have an item... Item to item? Do I do it this way? I think I do. I think what I do is I say here's a new item. First let's... First let's get this. Bring an item type. Okay. Item type. I think very quickly it becomes creature of terrain type, item type, creature type. But it's, it's weird. Um, Too few template arguments. Boom, turn type, item type, at, sir. Okay. Oh, really? Those two lines, lines caused eight. Eight errors. Okay, refactored room for item type. Add the item type. So add new thing. Which can call you a room item. I would call you just item, but uh, that's a bit too vague. Class room item template type type name type name t item t item public edit. How do we do this mostly? Does this work the same way as creature? In which case, are my items creatures? That don't move. But I might also go with that. So let me think a moment. Do I just have rooms with terrain and objects? Because it's not too late for that. Can I have a creature and an object occupy the room at the same time? They are not so okay. They're not separate. Are not separate. I don't need item type. Remove. I'd like delete. Let me you. Room does not have type name T item on it. Render problems. No item type. Back to operating. Oh, 
All right, cool. So there's no difference between a creature and an object. Now, that's quite a thing. What that means, I want to rename you to object. Type and build. Object type. Da, 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 da. Okay. Um, name you to object type. Type became object type. No more item type. Wow. Future type became object type. Now we have the hunter, and now our, we also have an object type of. So now creature has to change as well. You are a room cell object. Which means there's going to be some, some stuff going on there. Only in one place, room cell object. successful. I now want to rename you to room cell object. I rename here, rename you to T object data. Okay, we do your build. Rename you to object data. Name you get object data. Room cell and get the object data. All right, are we building? Please still build. Good for you. Let's get the. Oh, I don't need room item. Room item is unnecessary now. So room cell. We're gonna rename you. Object. Bad idea. Let's rename you again. No, it's not. Fine. What else do we have? Get terrain, set terrain, set object. I'm also going to name this select all of them. Get object. I'm going to rename everything.
Okay, there's like this concept of a lighting map and an exploration map that could be handled completely separately. We keep it for now. Or set flags. Uh, uh. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Building, are we running? Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, here's are now objects. Oof. Yeah. One more switch to the bouncy ball chair, and then finish off the day. Switch into the bouncy ball chair. So much better. Okay. All right. What else have we to do? Let's close everything. All tabs. Let's take a look at our to do. You need treasures and traps and secret doors and everything else. <sighs> one of the one of the things is that we have a uh, limited inventory space okay a very important part of the game is the limited inventory space. let's take a look at image that is 40 by 30. let's make it 40 by 20 because i don't need or sorry 10 by 40. Let's take, let's think about be, nope. Eh, that can be our inventory space. So an inventory space of eight bytes, 32 items that we can have. That's a fine something. Um, so this would be items. Other things, other things. Definitely have to have like some sort of armor. So we can go up to 16 on those. And health, let's see if we can go up to 16 on those. I don't know what else. Like a, we need to ha start having some statistics is what we need. You know what, that's a thing that we can do. 
start counting how many times I moved. We're not going to save that. Don't save that. Get in to the renderer and the in-play renderer. Um, does this other stuff, and I think I'm trying to room panel. Draw room panel. Draw status panel. So there's a draw status panel. Get to do. I'll put the to do in here though. So to do. Split this into its own renderer. Wait, draw status panel chance and also to do make this a renderer. Well, because we may need to use it other times. So here is our status panel. Void in play renderer draw status panel. Well, that's what we're going to do here. Every room panel, every status panel. Clip actually go over here because the definition of you, which is constants UI in play room panel clip X plus the clip width. There we have it. Wow. Cool, man. Equation compatible with blah, blah, blah. Counts, does need to be counts. Does need to be counted. Let the clip right. Can I clear? What happens if I clear? Do I just SDL? Bell right. Who knows? Well, it gets cleared each time. But we're okay. Where's my ROM font? I don't have any. I don't have anything tracking my moves. But that's, a, but that's a thing we can get to here. Back in the moves. Uh, data size T moves. Okay. Here's game data. Zero. Game data. The uh, void increment move. Good thing we do. Increment move, moves plus plus. And the hunter though, so whenever we clear the hunter, we're gonna say moves equals zero. That's how we set that. Now, all we need is a getter. Size T, get moves, cost. Size T. 
see. Get moves. Balance. You are game data. Get moves. Game data. Get moves. Return moves. When we when we have the in play command processor and move the hunter. Nah, 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 nah. So this is the time that we do this and game data increment move. Only when you actually move. Well, maybe we don't. Maybe we do it other times. It, nah, it's it's fine. Are these moves? Are they attempted moves? Let's go with attempted moves for now, and we can change that back. We can. But when we are rendering, I need S stream is what I need. S stream. String stream STD. Bring stream this that says moves and blah blah game data get moves and rom font get rom font. Write text, get main render, uh, that thing, and then that thing, many, <laughs> many. That comma says stir constants color okay, so now you can see how many moves we've made. Go along. Even attempted moves, all attempted moves. One, okay. Wait. Go into try to go into the wall. It counts as a move. So that's what we like for right now. Try to get a good little screenshot up here. Let's get who was a screenshot. Sounds good. And Hunter dots SS two zero two one. One two six five two zero go well, that's a beautiful and lovely thing hey okay. put that up in imgur post. And file okay, excellent. And hidden. Oh. 
What's going on? All right, let me what that is. So, oh, that's not a bad. That's not a bad bit of functionality to deliver in a day. That for. Oh, well, let's get this checked in. Uh, move counter. Counts moves by the hunter. Yes, it does. That. Do, do magic string. Do, do magic string. Do, do magic number. Magic number. Waters magic strings. Where do I get where exactly do I get that from? Because what do you have a value? You're fifteen. Okay. Yeah, so I need something that maps. I have any other? That's a kit. Those are all constants. Uh, to do magic string. Don't like it. Don't like. It. Calling them like I see them here. All right. Confirm quit renderer. I'll do this as well. Um, I'll set Y, Y and these are all good. And you render magic strings are bad. Seem to me. It appears that I'll be putting localization. Although, not very good localization because it'll only accept like English. But who knows? Who knows? Data, do we have magic anythings? Was a zero is what about all this? All right, putting in some to do's. Have it. All right. So oh, super groovy. Uh, just going to push that up there. Now it's about time to get going. And Tim's up. Grass is not up yet. What module would that go into? When are you going to add? Quiet while I read. Read Tim. Thanks for hanging out. If anybody's hanging out, thanks for watching.